What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. Now, before we get started today, I want to make sure that everybody uh, that hasn't had a chance to uh, subscribe to the channel, hits that notification bell so you guys can see uh, uh, future episodes pop up on your feed, and uh, make sure you guys go ahead and like that video. It does help a lot. Now, today, um, I'm starting a new segment called The Look Back, and um, we're going to be going through the years on a look back of uh, some pop culture stuff, and uh, I thought it would be fitting to start with a solid year in uh, 1980 and kind of move up from there. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're looking at a year that brought us the Miracle on Ice. Uh, that uh, gas a gallon was $1.22 at average. And the conversation all over the place was, who shot JR? on TV's Dallas. That's right, guys. 1980 is the subject, and I think we're going to first head over to the toy department. And we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out what that number one toy, number one selling toy was of 1980. And that number one selling toy, guys, was the Rubik's Cube. That's right, the Rubik's Cube. There's never been a puzzle quite like Rubik's Cube, and America may never be the same. A medical journal has written about a unique phenomenon, Rubik's Thumb. A museum recognized it as a work of art. Rubik's Cube has been involved in divorce proceedings. People are practicing at clinics, entering contests, and competing across the country. Rubik's Cube from Ideal. 25 million Americans have made it a part of their lives. How about you? That 26 little cubic multicolored box that I still can't figure out. Um, now that the original uh, the original uh, a magic cube, uh, so to call, um, uh, was invented in 1974, but did not come over here until 1980, where it was vastly manufactured. Um, and basically, it was just to help us explain. It really, wasn't supposed to be a toy. It was to help us explain uh space three d three dimensional space um you know what i mean and and the geometry of three dimensions and um man that thing's still hard i still can't figure it out i mean even the inventor uh it took him about a month to figure out his own invention at that point so i mean um you know it's a great toy uh in fact i believe it won the toy of the year in 1980 and 1981 but it was the most uh the the most the the it sold out the most out of all the toys in 1980 and i believe it was at uh nine dollars 99 cents i believe boy you know christmas presents were cheap back then <laughs> um let's move over into uh movies and um you know the number one uh uh well i would just, i would say the top grossing movie of 1980 was my favorite star wars movie that's right that is Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Um, you know, so many good memories from this movie. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, uh, the, the, the snow speeders on Hoth and the uh, getting frozen in carbonite. But I think what really cemented this movie in my mind um, was this is the first time, and even though it's only the second movie, this is the first time that we actually got to see... Um, that connection between Han Solo and Leia. And it, it, even though, you know, it wasn't right out there for us to, you know, grasp, it was, it was there and we could see, we could see the tension between them two and how it was sort of a relationship potential tension. And I think that's what, um, it, it had more heart to me than the first one. And, and that's, uh, that's why I love that movie so much. War saga continues. The Empire strikes back at Luke Skywalker. I've been hit! Princess Leia. Give the evacuation code signal. Han Solo. You said you want to be a room. I made a mistake. It was to be a sweetheart. I take it back. Oh! Lando Calrissian. C-3PO. Wait, me! R2-Z2 and Chewbacca. The new chapter of Star Wars. The Empire strikes back. Rated PG. Coming to your galaxy tomorrow. Uh, let's move over to, I guess, music we can do next. Um, now, um, the uh, number one uh, song of 1980. Now, this is a little hard to do because, you know, every month has a different billboard, you know, from here to here, you know, whatever. But the, the song that stayed at the top the most, the number one hit of 1980 was by 
a Debbie Harry led band, Blondie, a band that came out of uh, New York in 1974. Um, you know, they they played at uh, uh, CBGBs and other clubs in New York to get famous. You know, with other famous bands. You know, such as like television and um, uh, Talking Heads and things like that. And um, they eventually kind of came into their own and started doing new wave music. And uh, this this song. Uh, that was number one. It's called Call Me. And every, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's heard this song. Um, now, uh, this move, this song was actually a theme off of a movie called American Gigolo that year. And I believe that that's the reason why it was, you know, spent the, the most time at number one. Not saying Blondie's bad. I like Blondie, the, one of my favorite bands. But, I mean, there were so many good hits that year. Um, but, uh, yeah, Blondie, uh, Call Me, stayed uh, at number one the longest. So I have to give that spot to Blondie. Um, and then we're going to do one more, uh, we're going to do video games, um, of, uh, the 1980s and, um, the number one, the number one selling video game of 1980 was Pac-Man. That's right. Little yellow guy. You know, you guys know who Pac-Man is. Um, now, uh, it sold the most, even though it didn't win game of the year that, that honor went to space invaders, but Pac-Man sold the most, you know, to the home systems or in the arcades, things like that. And I think everybody's seen Pac-Man. If you walk into an arcade, you see a Pac-Man machine. They still have Pac-Man machines today. They still build Pac-Man machines. In fact, last time I was with my kid at like a Dave and Buster's or something like that, they had a four-player Pac-Man tournament machine. I mean, it's still an iconic character today, Um, you know, right up there with Mario Brothers and you know spyro the dragon or i mean donkey kong you know things like that so um yeah uh pac-man now in uh, japan originally uh pac-man was called puck man because he looks like a little puck you know and uh he goes around and eats the little dots you know um and uh i mean if you guys have been living under a rock then you don't know who pac-man is but hey you know not my fault go check it out for yourself First the Pac-Man eats through a maze of dots <laughs> Then the Pac-Man heads for the corner spots Then he eats his pill <laughs> Of a power pill And then all those ghosts turn blue Boo! And Pac-Man eats them all too Only Atari makes the Pac-Man home video game And you can only play it on an Atari video game system Have you played Atari today? Um... And uh, one other thing I wanted to kind of uh, go over in this uh, episode uh, is, I, I believe, a uh, a really important um, invention that happened that year. Um, and uh, without this invention, we wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be able to send. You wouldn't be able to get on and watch the video that I made for all you guys. Um, and that is the the internet modem. The modem, uh, computer modem, was built was was invented in 1980. Um, now, albeit it's probably the size of a closet, but um, it was the thing that led to what we have now, Wi-Fi, things like that, mesh systems in your house, um, all these kinds of things um, that allow you to get on and talk to one another or get on and just watch Hulu or Netflix or YouTube. Um, without that, you know, we wouldn't have this. And uh, I think it's a very important... Um, discovery and uh it led us right to the internet and um uh, you know we'll get to the uh, 1980s and the uh, AOLs and you'll see but um yeah guys uh thanks for uh you know sticking around and uh checking out the video and uh like I said if you guys uh like a series like this please suggest some stuff um the next uh the next year we'll be talking about in the next look back video is 1981 and um don't forget to subscribe get to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys can see that video as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.